months. Plus, get a guaranteed two-hour appointment window. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. Middle Earth is back at Denny's with the Build Your Own Hobbit Slam. 20 delicious options like sweet potato pecan pancakes, hearty breakfast sausage, and honey cake French toast. A meal to satisfy the hungriest of hobbits. See the Hobbit, the desolation of Smaug. Mr. Speaker, one of the greatest untold stories from World War II is the story of the brave men and women known as the Monuments Men. That's why I'm honored today to introduce legislation recognizing these heroes with a Congressional Gold Medal. Texas Congresswoman Kay Grange is hoping to draw attention to a special military unit. Only a handful of survivors remain. Mark Strassman looks at how Washington and Hollywood are working to ensure their story is not lost to history. The Nazi looting of Europe was the greatest art heist of all time. Extraordinary works, Michelangelo's, Da Vinci's, and Vermeer's, and ordinary art too, were stolen and stashed in Hitler's Germany. Nothing was too big or too sacred. It was these soldiers, the Monuments Men, who saved centuries of European culture. Robert Edsel's book chronicles their search for Nazi plunder. Most of them have incredibly accomplished careers, and then they found themselves unintentionally as treasure hunters trying to track down millions of cultural objects that have been stolen by the Nazis. The greatest treasure hunt of all time. It's a staggering, staggering achievement. Time to put a team together and do our best to protect buildings, bridges, and art before the Nazis destroy everything. Monuments Men, the movie, based on Edsel's book, will be released next February. George Clooney directed and stars in the story of the soldiers who crisscrossed battlefields to track down stolen Nazi art in thousands of hiding places, like the Neuschwanstein Castle in Germany. It took them six weeks to empty all the stolen art. Rembrandts, Raphaels, Leonardos, and a Renoir. In Austria's Altausee salt mine, the Monuments Men recovered Michelangelo's Bruges Madonna, the Ghent altarpiece, and Vermeer's Astronomer. The man holding the globe was Hitler's favorite painting. Harry Etlinger, now 87, is one of three surviving Monuments Men. You're a German Jew forced to leave Germany who goes back to Germany to help with the war effort. I went back as an American soldier, not as a German Jewish, you know, German Jewish soldier. Etlinger was 19 in 1945 and knew little about art, but he spoke fluent German. They had wooden cases marked with uh, uh, initials. And uh, what was inside? Paintings, sculptures, books. A tremendous find. A tremendous collection. It gave us a good feeling. Instead of keeping the art as a spoil of war, you helped return the art to its rightful owners. Unique in the history of civilization. No country had ever done that before. They've supervised the return of five million, five million stolen objects to the countries from which these things were taken. Paintings were returned to museums. There it is. Works you can see today. Parc Monceau. This Claude Monet painting is among the recovered pieces at New York City's Metropolitan Museum of Art. Along with this Van Goyen landscape and soap bubbles by Chardin. Hitler wanted this one. No question about this. He wants the best of the best of things that he decides are the best. The Nazis not only stole from museums, but also from thousands of families. To recover the possessions, including the artwork of families just like yours, must have really connected with you. Absolutely. I ended up being able to come along and recover my grandfather's collection of 3,000 prints. Some of them are hanging in my apartment right now. Others. Yes. But thousands of works stolen by the Nazis have still never been found, like Raphael's portrait of a young man. The treasure hunt is still on. I think the treasure hunt's really just beginning. World War II's battlefields were a landscape of loss. But for the Monuments Men, their legacy is the treasures they saved. For CBS This Morning, Mark Strassman, New York. Amazing story. Oh, and they deserve yeah. recognition. And so unexpected. I mean, it's a story I think most people, myself included, have never heard. Now I really want to see that movie. Yeah, yeah. incredible. Yeah.
All right, coming up, the personal side of Nelson Mandela. We'll look back at his interview with Charlie and the challenges he faced trying to be a grandfather to both his family and the people 